our church families here to, to watch this celebration, okay? Now, here at Desperation Church, we look at baptiz uh, baptism as a time to celebrate, okay? And so we want you to celebrate with us. And so whenever we baptize uh, these guys and girls, all right, uh, we just want to challenge you. When they come up out of the water, we want, you to, we want them to hear you go nuts for what God has done in their life, okay? Uh, baptism uh, uh, here at Desperation Church, we believe, is a declaration to the world of saying, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. De uh, baptism uh, is, not, is not salvation. Um, it's not a part of salvation. It is basically symbolic of going in dead, the old person coming out the new in Jesus Christ. And we're saying to the world, I'm declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. And so that's what these folks have come to do today. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to pray. And then Adam, uh, our, our ch children's minister here at the church, is going to baptize two of our girls. Uh, that's our children's ministry. Got saved in children's ministry, and so we're excited about that. And so uh, Adam's gonna come in and baptize, and then I'm gonna come in and uh, baptize the rest. Okay. So uh, let's pray, and then we'll dive in. Okay, Father, we love you, we praise you, we glorify you, and we lift you up. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity today, uh, Lord, of watching uh, people that's given their life to you, Father, come and declare to the world, Father, that that Father they are followers of you, and that Lord they're going in the old, coming out the new. That, God, you have raised them up to life. So, Lord, I pray that you would bless today. That, God, you would do something special. We love you and we lift you up in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the first person we got coming today is Madeline Dodd. She actually came to church today, and it was one of her first times. And she left. That's why I got it from her parents. She left, and they were talking about feeling the presence of God. She said she felt it. And not only did she felt it, but she decided to give her life to Christ this very day. The first thing she wanted to do was get out. Madeline, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? All right, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in baptism. Praise the Lord. kids is very near and dear to my heart. When she first started out, she was one of the shyest kid in D.C. kids. She would literally go stand over in the corner and wouldn't say much to anything. But as she's come out, as she's had fun, and as she's grown up with us, she's become one of our best leaders. She actually holds the wall-sitting record in D.C. kids for the next 40 minutes. Her name is Fiala. And Fiala, here you go. Fifi, have you given, have you given your heart to Jesus Christ? I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in baptism. Raise the water. Yeah. Excited that God is doing something in her life. Uh, just a little bit about her story, and uh, they've all given me permission to share stories about what God's done in their life. Um, feels good, don't it? Come on. Um, I'm going to get there myself. Um, Crystal basically just shared with me, she said, man, there's so much that's happened in my life, I don't even know where to start. She says, short version is, she says, I've gone through 10 years of abuse in my life, and uh, never thought there was no hope, didn't think that this, it was a dead end life. And uh, God reached down. Uh, opened her eyes up to come here, basically, in Desperation Church. God opened her eyes up to truth and what life was really about. Gave her life and gave her hope through Jesus Christ. And so she sits here saying that, declaring to the world, basically, I am, I am a believer in uh, Jesus Christ and God has changed her life. And uh, it's awesome to see her and I going to be a, a leader for Fifi uh, in the areas of what God's going to do in her life. Okay? So, Crystal, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Crystal, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mary with Jesus baptism. Praise the Lord. Now here, and this is a fun one right here. Now this is this is Ellie. I right? and everybody here knows Ellie at our church. And so come on in, Ellie. I'm gonna tell your story. You ain't gonna like it. But he's still. He is gonna like it. 
Ellie is an exchange student from Italy, right here in the United States. Uh, she started off with a family that, uh, I'm just going to be honest, she really didn't like it very much. So she went to Linda's house, Linda Stone right here, who's crying. Uh, this, is, this is her mom in, uh, in, in, uh, in America. And so uh, basically they've taken her in. And from the very beginning when Ellie moved in with Linda, the very first day, I can remember us having the conversation. You know God's brought Ellie to you because God's going to change her life because Ellie's going to go back and change Italy for the glory of God. And uh, Linda was saying, you know, I believe the same thing. I believe that. I believe that for over the last several months we've been praying for Ellie. She comes to church every Sunday, unbelievably faithful, unbelievably hard worker, just loves people. Uh, Ellie will tell you she comes from a very, very, very wealthy family in Italy. She says she's got everything. She's got everything she needs. There's nothing really that she needs. She says but when she came here and started seeing the love of the people here, when she, she said what really brought her, her uh, gave more attention to Jesus more than anything else was whenever we did the tornado relief, she saw all the people that were in need and all the people that were serving them. She said that was just the icing on the cake. That was it. I, she said I had to give my life to Jesus Christ. She was worried about going to Italy. She was worried about going to Italy because she's like, I have nobody in Italy that I can I can, could converse with with Jesus. I don't know anybody, and, and so I'm not going to do this Jesus thing anytime soon. But I think she, you know, once you know about Jesus and you hear about Jesus, you see the great things of Jesus, you stuck, dude. You, I mean, you're like stuck like Chuck. You're through. Because, you know, now you know too much. It's entirely too much. And so she knows Jesus, and she just gave me a few weeks ago, sat down with Linda, gave her life to Jesus Christ. She'll be going back home when? Going June, June 25th? We don't want to talk about that, do we? So she'll be going home pretty quick here in the near future, but she's going to go home a believer. And God's brought her here for a reason. We really believe that. God's going to take her back to Italy for a reason. We think God's going to use her. So we need to pray for her that God will give her strength when she goes back to Italy, that God will use her in a strong way to minister to her friends, to her family, to everybody else. Okay. So uh, this is exciting for me. So, Ellie, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes. <laughs> Ellie, I baptize you in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Jesus in baptism, raised the wall. Alright. Come on up here, boy. This is my hero. Hey, you look like John Mark, you're barefooted. Up here. <laughs> Come on in here. Now this is my buddy Steve right here. We've got to know each other the last several weeks, and I love this guy. I love his family. Um, as you know, Steve and Miss Kitty lost their business. That's a historic destination right here in, in uh, Coleman whenever the tornadoes hit. And uh, they uh, basically, Miss Kitty was coming here before, uh, before uh, the tornadoes hit. She said she had been in church, I think you said 10 years. And she, she went home to him and said, hey, I went to a church today, and I finally found me a church. So, she drug him along, came with her, and basically came to me and told him he wants to get baptized and stuff. But let me tell you a little bit about his story. He says that all his life, um, he's been having conversations with God. I need to give my life to God. I need, I, I need to give my life to God. He said 20 years, he said, I'm going to do it later, though. I'm going to wait till later. I'm going to wait till later. Uh, 20 years old, he didn't do it. 25, he said he didn't do it. 30 years old, he didn't do it. Still had the same conversation. He didn't give my life. I'll just wait till later. 35, 45, he said about three years ago, uh, he had gone to the doctor, and the doctor basically gave him some news in the area of cancer, and he said, you know what, I think now, if ever, I need to give my life to Christ, and I hope it's not too late. And he said, he later had a conversation with God in the bed, and he said, hey God, if you'll just give me a sign, he said, he's like Jeff Foxworthy, give me a sign, what he told me. He said, God, if you'll just give me a sign in the area of salvation, I'll give my life to you. He said, the very next night, there was a knock on the door, and there was three men from First Baptist Coleman there with Bibles in their hand, she told him about Jesus, and Miss Kitty was scared to death he was going to kick them out. That's what she said. And he said, no, nah, he knew exactly why they were there. Get on in here. Basically, come on. Come on in. And uh, they came in, and uh, he gave his life to Christ that night. That was three years ago. He said he wants to give his, his, uh, get his baptism in order today. And uh, basically, if, for you guys that know him, he's got a hole right here where he's got to talk. And so we thought we were going to do the Methodist. We thought we were going to sprinkle him or something. We didn't know what we were going to do. But he says, you know what? I want to be baptized. He says, like, hold on. He told me I could put a cork in there. Is what he told me. To do. <laughs> and so man, he said he's going to hold his, hold his, uh, his hole right there. We're going to baptize quickly and, and, uh, and watch what God does with this. It's awesome. Let me tell you something. Anybody that's scared of baptism, this man right here is a witness that should give you strength to be baptized. Because there's no reason why he should be getting baptized today with a hole. We're right there in this Here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry. 
Steve, you give me your life to Jesus Christ? Yes. Steve, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Jesus in baptism. Right here. Raised to walk. Because a lot of people don't know where people have been yeah, and where they, they came they from and what's going on in their lives now. And uh, this, I, I love. I love